So it was December 2020. We seen a paediatrician and we had some blood tests done and they referred us to a neurologist. We seen that neurologist in February, uh, early Feb last year. And then by the 19th, uh, the 19th of February last year, we had to drive the five hours down to Melbourne because he said he had the results. And that's when we knew it probably wasn't good because they don't actually drive five hours for good news. It was like an out of body experience. Like you felt, you knew it was happening, but you didn't, yeah, it felt really surreal and we just couldn't get out of the hospital quick enough. The paediatrician mentioned ataxia. Of course, I went home and Googled seeing the ataxia to angiectasia. And I was like, no, that's too rare. That won't be Jarrah. And yeah, it was, I was, yeah, I was shocked. We just felt like it was just end of the world, really. Just all the worst things we were thinking of, you know, are we gonna ever see him get married or have kids or all those things you think you're going to see your kid do, we're just like, wow, we don't actually know if we're gonna be able to see those things with Jarrah. We um, own 200 acres back in Victoria. We always thought, well, the two older boys had run that, but yeah, and then we're like, well, he's not gonna be able to do those things that we originally thought he'd be going to do on the farm in, you know, another 20 years. It was really, yeah, it was confronting and, yeah. Oh, they just wouldn't have a chance, really. They just have to live their life as, as they are and just degenerate. So I think, yeah, all trials and research, whatever we can do, really. It's just really important to give all the AT kids and young adults just a chance at a better life and a longer life and without the research and funding and the funding for the research it won't happen. I hope that they get diagnosed with it and there's a tablet or something that they can say you know this isn't it you can have this and it's gonna slow it down. Or, you know, I hope that one day they can say, it's okay, he's got this, but there's a cure. Like, I don't want, I want to be able to hear that a parent doesn't feel the way we feel.